Hi, back at Computex 2012 and we're with Fractal. I'm here with Hayley and you've got a brand new range for us, the Node. We do, we do. Uh, launching today is the Node series. Uh, we built Node because we needed cases that fit in with the center of the home. Uh, so we have the Node 304 as well as the 605. The Node 304 is more of a hybrid. Um, we can use it as a file server, as well as um, home theater PC, and uh, it can be actually be a high-end gaming system as well. So if you want, we can open yeah, it up and take a look. Yeah, let's open up. <laughs> so it's probably, well, the smallest chassis you guys do. Yes, yes it is. Uh, the volume is about 19 and a half liters. So. And, and the idea behind it, presumably, is you've got all the mainstream enthusiast gamers sewn up with the Define Arc. And you want something for people that have a smaller system? Yes, as well as something that fits nicely into your home. You don't want to take up too much space. So, want to get an angle inside here? So looking inside, um, it's obviously pretty small. I'm guessing mini ITX motherboards? Yes. And, yeah. and probably importantly, because graphics cards obviously give you so much more gaming power, can you put a separate card in? Because at the moment, the way it looks, you've got these hard drive bays. Uh, do these come out? They do. Uh, the one here on the left can be removed and you can fit a full length graphic card in there. Right, so, and also, I'm just peering down here. Mm -hmm. I've got a bad pack, so this might be a bit slow. <laughs> um, this is the PSU segment and it looks like it's a standard power supply. Yes, it's a standard power supply. Right, so, basically for somebody who wants uh, probably a quiet PC on a small form factor, just doing that. Aluminium front, mm -hmm. steel body. But probably the most important question for most people is how much? How much? In British pounds, sixty nine ninety. Okay, so it's it's pretty budget too. It's, given given it's that very it, aggressive and competitive. We want to to provide customers with value as well as also be able to have the design and uh, the sleekness into your home. Right. And moving on across to the bigger one, the mm -hmm. six oh five. So this again, obviously, probably for a complete PC, you could have a, a full-size motherboard. Yes. Well, if you open it up, can we open that one up? Yes. There you go. Okay, so plenty of space inside. Actually, you tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we fit four hard drives in here. Um, obviously, you can see it's bigger. It's more of a desktop. Um, I mean, there's nothing really out of the ordinary, but you're able to um, you're able to build your own. What we like here is that in the front, the input output, we have a slim ODD as well as your uh, cards and um, yeah. USB 3. Yeah, and just looking inside, it looks like it's a standard ATX, so yes, you can just is. whack in any motherboard. Yes, it is. And off you go, and yep. obviously with the graphics too. That is correct. And just looking at this, this is going to be, oops, that's wrong one, the 605 is 100. 119. So 119. Mm -hmm. Also, sort of complimentary, you're now doing a new range of power supplies. We are. So if we Let's sidle over to those. So we're here now with the power supplies. You've got a range of three. Um, if you talk about them and exactly what the features they have. Sure. Start, we have the Integra, Tesla and Newton. Uh, the Integra is a uh, gold, uh, bronze. Sorry, bronze certified. We have gold and as well as platinum, um, 80 plus. The Newton is our higher end here. We have used uh, J Japanese capacitors as well as um, its ability to, for modular cables. So it's a bit more higher end. And then the Tesla and the Integra are very similar in design, whereas the Newton is a bit different. Uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, it stood out a bit more because it is a bit more in the higher end. Right. Generally with the power supply, and we test quite a few, mm -hmm. the innards are pretty similar. And to make one a lot better requires a lot more money. Here it seems like, obviously, if it's 80 plus platinum, it's going to mm -hmm. be a good power supply. Mm -hmm. But from the aesthetics, it seems like they're pretty important for you guys to kind of match up with your chassis. Yes. we. With all of our fractal design products, we like to have the Scandinavian sleek design, mm -hmm. which we also are going to um, transfer to our power supplies as well. So uh, we've got the black and white rounded edges. Because, uh, you know, when you're building your PC, you're very proud of it and you want to make sure all components look great and you're proud of them. So we've tried to translate that design as well into our power supplies. Sure. Would there be a case then of bundling in the power supply with one of the chassis just because it fits together? 
No, we still stand by that uh, every builder has the option and you, we hope that you would choose a fractal design power supply. However, we will not be bundling them. That's going to be your choice because, you know, I'm not sure if you want the Integra, Tesla or Newton and what sort of wattage. So it's up to the consumer. All right. And moving just behind you, we've talked about power supplies, but yes. moving just this way, you've got a sneak peek. You told me earlier. Now, do. do tell. We do. This is the Arc XL. It's a very early prototype. Um, we heard a lot from our consumers that they liked the Arc series, but they were looking for a full tower, which we hope to accomplish, which we will accomplish with the Arc XL. Right now, we are in very, very early stages of development, so this is an early sneak peek, but we hope to have this out in the market by the end of 2012. And what else can you talk about for the next six months, nine months? What else can we expect from you guys? Because generally, you have fewer ranges, mm -hmm. but dare I say quality products. I know you want me to say that. So I, I believe so, yes. So what else can we expect from you guys? Fractal Design is always working on um, listening to the customer and creating creative, customer-driven designs. We are always working on um, developing new products, improving, as well as giving what the, cons what the consumers are asking for. So you can expect some new and exciting things coming up from Fractal Design right. between thanks, now and the end of the year. Thanks very much, Hayley. Thank you. So she says we expect some new, exciting things. I'm looking forward to those. But until then, head back for more coverage from Computex 2012.